Tinnitus is a symptom that can develop for many reasons. The truth is, tinnitus can happen at any time and it doesn't discriminate, it can affect anyone. Today, I'm going to explore what causes tinnitus and how you can cope with the symptoms when they arise. Also going to introduce you to some techniques that will help you get through a bad day or week of tinnitus symptoms. Hi, I'm David, so let's talk about tinnitus. So let's discuss some of the treatments available for tinnitus as well as some of the best ways to help manage your symptoms. Tinnitus is a ringing or buzzing in the ears. It can make it difficult to concentrate and sometimes even cause hearing loss. Tinnitus is not just a problem of the ears. It has been estimated by various researchers that around 100 million people in the United States suffer from some form of tinnitus. The figures are likely to be even higher globally. There are different types of tinnitus. There is tinnitus that is constant. Tinnitus that fluctuates. Tinnitus with hearing loss and tinnitus in only one ear. So what causes tinnitus? What are the symptoms? And how is it treated? Tinnitus can be caused by any of the following. Hearing loss, ear drum issues, ear infections, inflammation of the nerve, plus anxiety and stress. As well as this, aspirin, caffeine, nicotine, high blood pressure medications, antibiotics or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs are believed to cause tinnitus. Exposure to loud noises such as working in heavy industry or at concerts or nightclubs. Also a history of military service may also result in tinnitus. Other things that can aggravate tinnitus are alcohol, lack of restorative sleep, too much coffee or soda, and loud music. The symptoms of tinnitus are ringing, buzzing, hissing, or clicking in your ears that you don't hear from any outside source. It's not just an annoyance it can also cause sleep deprivation and depression, as well as more serious health consequences. If you're experiencing any of these, then it's time to seek help. Number 1. You hear sounds that you can't explain or understand. Number 2. You can't block out the sounds with your imagination or even by using noise-canceling headphones. Number 3. The sound is intermittent. Doctors will diagnose tinnitus by asking questions about your symptoms, previous ear infections or hearing loss, medications you take and other medical conditions you may have. There are tests that can be done to find the cause of tinnitus. These include A hearing test. This will test how well you hear sounds and check for hearing loss. You will be asked to answer a series of questions via a headset that measures your responses against a sound chart. On rare occasions a doctor may ask for a brain scan. For some people, the sound they hear is low-pitched and regular. For others, it's high-pitched and irregular. Some people hear the sound without any external noise at all. Others describe the sound as pulsing or hissing. The treatment will depend on the cause. For example if it is caused by a buildup of earwax the doctor will use suction curettage. If caused by anxiety or stress, medications can be prescribed to reduce stress levels in order to help reduce the ringing. If an ear infection is diagnosed antibiotics are prescribed. Hearing aids can be used to amplify sounds, which helps reduce noise and distortion. Wearing hearing aids can help mask sounds but they cannot eliminate them. Masking devices can be used to reduce noise and the level of pressure applied by the ear is adjusted as well. Tinnitus retraining therapy uses a combination of counseling, habituation exercises and sound therapy. Sound therapy is effective for some people with tinnitus, especially those who have constant ringing. It has shown to be more effective when it is combined with cognitive behavior therapy. You also need to relax and remove stress. Meditation, yoga and other stress relief techniques can help reduce the severity of tinnitus. Also avoid caffeine and nicotine and keep your blood pressure and cholesterol levels under control. Learn to eliminate certain sound triggers. There is a lot of talk about a new product that seems to very quickly get rid of the misery of tinnitus. If you would like to read about it, there is a link in the description below this video.